All right, guys, I'm over at my good mate Pete's at the moment, and he's got one of the older Hurler slows, one of the higher quality ones, and he's just mounted one of these magnetic linear scales on the uh, on the cross slide of the lathe, and I am really impressed at how compact this little thing is. So it's it's got a magnetic tape with the reader head, um, and he's milled up the, his own support on it, just out of a bit of aluminium uh, with a lip drain on it. These do come with a little wiper on them as well, but uh, that's been taken off at the moment. And you can actually put a, an aluminium cover right over this because it is a magnetic strip and it will pick up bits of rubbish. But the wipers, uh, I believe, do a very, very good job of cleaning that up. But I was amazed at the repeatability on this. We sort of got within 0.03 over 10 millimetres. It was uh, very, very surprising. But like I said, I can't get over how compact this little unit is. So if you've got a small lathe and you're worrying about the amount of room that um, linear slides are going to take up, particularly the glass ones, these little magnetic units might be uh, worthwhile. Actually, I just grabbed the strip because you can actually cut the uh, the magnetic strip just to suit the length that you want to work with. So um, I'll just go and grab a, a sample and uh, we'll have a quick look at that. Then we'll look at some of the repeatability that, uh, that Pete's getting. So that's what's left over. You just cut it the length of the suit and uh, it's probably about, I don't know, Two and a half mil thick total and uh, double sided tape and on it sticks. Very, very simple, but like I said, the accuracy, the repeatability on this was uh, was fantastic. So let's have a quick look right, at that. So uh, we're reading in uh, millimeters there. Yep. So that's our dial indicator. I'll flip the. Um, okay, so that's the dial indicator. I'll flip the, uh, the camera up and down to the uh, digital readout on this. How much was this, that uh, magnetic strip and reader head, Peter? $85. 85 bucks for that. And you paid what, around about $90 bucks for the uh, $90 for the uh, for the Digi readout? That's right. Oh, okay, so there's the indicator there. I'll, I'll keep flipping the camera up and down uh, as we go up to the digital readout. So I'm looking through the camera here, so I'm probably going to overshoot this, but let's just see how we go. So this is reading off diameter. So 2.01. So off the radius, you've got 0.005. Okay, so what we might do, let's crank it up a fair bit in. So it's within 0.03, as I said. 0.015 on radius. Point oh oh one there. So, like I said, the repeatability and the accuracy of this little unit is fantastic. Same again. So if you do have a smaller lathe and you're looking for something really compact that you want to fit into it, um, maybe have a look at these. I'll leave a link uh, in the description to, um, to where you can get this. And uh, Pete's made up his own special little brackets to mount the reader head onto. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I said I was just having a good mate Pete's place and saw this little unit uh, that he's just mounted. So I thought I might show some interest. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.